Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Crystal Lee, and today's video is going to be about balancing entrepreneurship and family life. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips on things that I've learned over the years. I've been married going on five years. Um, in May, so in like three months, and I also been in business going on five years in maybe three months. Okay, so I have went through a variety of things uh, with finding the balance as a mother, as a wife, um, even with just carrying on my professional career as well as a project manager. I'm hoping that my video can help someone get through um, their current cranks in their marriage or their family life with finding that balance or if you're looking forward to starting a business hopefully you get some tips on the to do's and not to do's before you get started okay so with the first tip the number one tip that will release stress and anxiety and depression and all the things that will come if this is mishandled is knowing how to communicate right Communication is the key. We hear this, period, right? Um, in relationships, marriage, it's the key. I came across um, a post that said the toughest job as an entrepreneur is keeping your marriage together. And the reason being is that entrepreneurs, as an entrepreneur, we have more of like this risk-taking personality. And nine times out of ten, your spouse doesn't. So you have to come to the realization that we are just two different people. And how can I get this person to understand what I'm trying to do, what I want to do, what I want to do, and be on board and supportive? You have to know how to communicate. You can't just expect this person to just get it because this is your life. You have to learn how to find a median um, that brings that person into your world. And you also taking a step back and understanding this person's world as well. Because communication is not always just about talking about you, 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 you. Communication is also learning how to listen as well and hearing the feedback of your spouse, of your partner. I remember when I first started Monroe shoot tea. My husband did not understand. Well, I felt that my husband did not understand anything that I was trying to do. Like, I remember I was sitting in my office countless of hours, um, maintain building my website, trying to maintain my website, trying to just put all my effort into making sure everything was together because I don't have a storefront. I didn't have a storefront then, and I still don't have a storefront. My website has to be on point right and my husband would be like come spend some time with me or you know you spending all this time doing this website and the website and the website and the website and i was just like dude you should understand what i'm doing because it's a business and he did not get it and it caused like a gap in communication we could never really talk about where we were coming from because it would instantly frustrate me if he didn't say anything other than good job and it would instantly frustrate him if I didn't really hear what he was saying and really, you know, take in and try to apply a fix. So, of course, you know, when you're married, you, know, you, you want to work out those little kinks. And it took for us to just calmly just discuss like, all right, what are you asking for me? Him, he's like, listen, like, I understand what you're doing and I support what you're doing, you know, but I still exist. And I had to just calmly hear what he was saying to me and say, okay, well, this is what I can do, you know. I put different things in place that are some tips that I'm going to share as well. Um, and it helped tremendously. It also encouraged him to be supportive and, and apply different things that he knows how to do. My husband is a hustler, okay? My husband can hustle the heck out of things. I am more of... Uh, I am definitely a hustler, right? And I'm also like the creator. I'm also super duper business savvy. Like I know how to make the moves behind the scenes, the CEO style um, that's going to get us to attention or get us going or help us maintain different things. And one day my husband um, decided to post in a couple of the uh, business groups on social media 
the different styles that we had. And my phone was ringing off the hook, right? And I was just like, geez, like, I don't know what happened. Like, people were um, all of a sudden interested in the business more than ever today. And he was like, he came to me and he was like, well, I was going to surprise you with, you know, what I decided to do. But since it jumped off so quick, I'm going to just tell you. He was like, he showed me his phone. He was like, look, I posted all the shoes in these little groups and all these people want to buy them. Like, I think we sold a whole case in one day because of him just standing up and saying, well, this is what I'm going to do to help. And he wasn't really fully able to do that until I knew how to calmly receive his request for just being more present, you know, in our marriage and being a little more attentive, to, uh, attentive I'm sorry, <laughs> attentive to him um, or whatever. And yeah, from there, it that happened like maybe in the first year. So from there, Everyone knows my husband. My husband's name is actually on my business cards now. Like, that is how supportive he became just for me taking a step back, communicating what I'm trying to do, listening to what he needs from me, and finding a meeting to making it happen, okay? So, to delegate your business with your kids, with your family as well. Um, for instance, when orders come in, I have my kids help me package the orders. Um, I have my daughter help me when I do any vendors event. She helps me set up everything. She helps me um, interact with the different customers. She helps me just spread the word about the business. All my kids do at this point. Um, and I just have them also like help make my videos. My daughter, my oldest daughter also does the photography. It kind of puts the kids in competition with each other. I'm not trying to make them competitive amongst each other, but they're like, well, she's, this one is doing it. I don't want to do it too. And so it encourages them and motivates them. And more importantly, we are able to teach our kids at such a young age different business tips and how to be business savvy so they go to the real world they are not clueless on how to manage things right whether it's themselves a business of their own or their first little job uh, my kids are my inventory managers like I try to instill so much into them so they can just be business savvy and more importantly teamwork makes the dream work right delegation helps your kids become more engaged in your business it makes it more fun and they will not look at it as like oh well mommy's neglecting us again because she has to go do an event take one with you show them the behind the scenes and how it goes and what it takes and then most likely they're going to fall in love with it okay so yeah delegation delegation helps tremendously my third tip is setting boundaries right we as entrepreneurs are so invested in our business like someone can call you and it's like midnight and they're like yeah I just had a question you're answering you're answering and answering and I definitely get like just trying to make yourself 100% um, accessible for your customers for your audience for potential customers is so important right but you have to set boundaries and my boundaries that I had to establish were business hours I don't want to be at the dinner table on my phone and talking and all this good stuff and I post I'm supposed to sit here and have dinner with my family you know um, I don't want to go on a date with my husband and I'm constantly checking my phone checking my phone so again I set business hours and I enforce my business hours right I'm completely professional I have a website that I keep up to date I maintain 100% myself so I know it's up to date that you can assess any time of the day, right? For 24 hours, 24 seven, right? I also have a Q&A section um, on my um, website that you can go to. This can also maybe answer some questions when you personally cannot talk to me. Um, I just want to be able to be with my husband sometimes and not have to be on my phone. I want to be able to be around my kids, watch a movie with them without having to be on my phone all the time or in front of a computer checking this and checking that all the time. So I set boundaries, okay? 
get you some business hours um if you have a spouse or a partner and they hate your phone they hate how much you're always on your phone come up with a plan like when i'm on a day with my husband something that we enforced was like maybe turn our phones upside down right i mean well side down right so the screen is not lighting up because once that screen lights up we're like moths right when we see that light on our cell phone and we're instantly looking and we're instantly checking turn it over or put it in your purse and just enjoy being present in front of your spouse enjoy being present in front of your children as well so number three set those boundaries okay time management is my final tip that i have to share with you guys you need time management period right like you need time management in life period to just be proactive to really be you know effective with whatever you're trying to do right it helps tremendously so just imagine having time management how much that can help you with entrepreneurship and family life right or spouse partner whoever right um something that i personally do, personally do is when my husband is at work i do my photo shoots i do my videos and as i previously mentioned if i have my kids with me which is like 90 percent of the time i'll just be like all right girls you know let's get it together uh we got a photo shoot at this time i make sure they're fed i give one person the camera you're going to take the pictures i give the other kid the the um phone you're going to record the videos like i'm incorporating them in by the time my husband gets home we're completely done I, i'm probably like either done editing everything or just about done editing everything that i need to and only thing he sees is that it's a finished product like it's it's just done already right so that works out tremendously um also time management having time management the discipline for time management rather it allows you to plan ahead right you can look and say for instance i work 45 hours a week right and in, in my professional career i know like i have the weekends off so planning ahead saturday 10 o'clock i'm gonna do my photo shoot photo shoot should take two hours so by noon i will be done husband won't get home to two so i have enough time to come get back home make sure the house nice and straightened out or you know if he wants to go to lunch afterwards or if he wants to go to dinner or if he wants me to cook everything is aligned and capable all because i planned ahead i foresee everything that i had to do that day i know sometimes things doesn't go according to plan but for the most part there are things that we can control if we just practice time management you have to look at social media sometime as like this is wasting my time so many people are guilty and including myself sometimes of just being on social media you just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and just imagine if that if you use that time to invest in your business in a way like for instance even if you use that time to create two email marketing um to send to your subscribers instead of scrolling on facebook or instagram or making you know random snaps or whatever how much more productive that makes you you know instead of sitting sitting around on social media all day and then when your partner comes home now you want to get into your business now okay let me go ahead and promote or let me go ahead and create these emails or let me go ahead and do this photo shoot or let me go ahead and do whatever you know the, your spouse or partner or your kids whoever they've been away for however many you know hours and you spent that time scrolling on social media or you spent that time doing things that just didn't matter and you could have been putting that into the business and having a win-win situation here you know sometimes um to have time management you have to deactivate those social media accounts um you have to uninstall those social media accounts you have to put your phone on airplane mode whatever you have to do to make sure you have time management to provide that entrepreneurship and balance uh, with your family please practice it okay before you know it it will come to you like second nature
right? So I gave you guys the four tips that I've experienced, that I've learned, and that I incorporate into balancing entrepreneurship and family. And those four tips, again, communication. Communication is the key. Not only be able to articulate what you're trying to do, your plans, but learn how to listen and receive the feedback that your spouse is giving you as well. Find that median to figure out what works. How can we both win with my risk-taking personality and your more conservative personality, okay? Um, number two, learn how to delegate these different tasks, these different business tasks to your kids. That will get them engaged. That will make it fun to help mom and, or dad. Um, that will make it more understanding when, you know, you have to be away for a few hours. They will get it. They're, they're, go they're going to be like, yeah, we know what it takes because mama take us on easy to these events. Mama show us what it's like to do a photo shoot or mama show us what it's like to, you know, produce a video. So we know it's just going to be a few hours. Mama assigned me the task to take the pictures and my sister the, the task to do the videos. And it more importantly instills all these business, you know, savvy minds for them. He is setting boundaries, right? Business hours are business hours, right? It's okay to have business hours. And no one wants to be on a date with someone that's constantly checking their phone, checking their phone, checking their phone, checking their phone, right? Turn that phone over, put that phone on silent mode, and learn how to just eat a piece of chicken and, and some mashed potatoes with the person that you're with without being on your phone, okay? Um, and my final tip is time management. Time management is everything, right? You have to incorporate time management. You have to practice time management. Super duper duper important. I hope you guys can really take the tips that I provided going into your journey of, of entrepreneurship or if you're currently an entrepreneur some things that you didn't think about before I hope now that you kind of understand it better or more and um, if there's anything that you would like for me to further discuss or if you feel like maybe I should talk a little bit more about one of these tips to help you feel free to leave a comment below or you can send me an email i'm going to put my social media information as well as my business email in the description and feel free again shoot me an email hey girl talk about this or talk about that um a little bit more and you got my attention okay thank you guys for watching have a great day <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>